So a local veteran received an honor of a lifetime today for his service to the nation of France during World War II. 7 News reporter Henry Coburn sat down with this special hero. The French Legion of Honor is an award reserved for those who have provided exemplary service to the nation of France. Today, a local veteran, George Soros, received that honor for his role defending the country in World War II. George Soros represents the best of the greatest generation. He's driven, patriotic, and a team player. When he was 18, he was drafted into the United States military. He says, I want to go in the Navy. So, bang, he punched the Navy, and that's how I wound up getting the Navy. And why did you want to choose Navy over Army? I didn't feel like walking. <laughs> Soros was a motor machinist on LST-515. It was his crew's job to get tanks, ambulances, supplies, and troops onto the beaches of Normandy. During a training exercise in 1944, the fleet Soros' boat was attacked by the Germans. I saw one ship got torpedoed. In the next in the five minutes, another ship got torpedoed. And then in another couple of minutes, another ship got torpedoed. Three ships got torpedoed. The lieutenant commander says, you've got to hit the beach to get away from it. And our captain says, no, he says, I'm going to pick up survivors. Although roughly 1,000 servicemen died in the attack, LST-515 rescued more than 100 soldiers and sailors from the wreckage. SARS read the accounts of some of the men he had helped save years later. They were just about ready to give up their life because they couldn't stand it anymore. He says, all of a sudden I looked, he says, and I saw that most beautiful LST-515 coming, and that we saved his life. Saros went on to participate in D-Day, the storied storming of the beaches of Normandy that helped turn the tide in the war. More than 70 years ago, Mr. Saros risked his life for the freedom of France and Europe. France is what it is today, a free and sovereign country, thanks to the bravery of Mr. Soros and of such veterans. The city of Brevard also declared December 7th to be George Soros Day. I asked him how he was going to celebrate all the honors today. He said a nice dinner is in order. For now in Brevard, Henry Coburn, 7 News. Soros was also presented a flag by Representative Mike Clampett, honors by Governor Roy Cooper, and a letter from the Secretary of the Navy.